One veteran and his family are going above and beyond to preserve memorials for the fallen. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rowe. Kelsey Bagwell joins us from Amicola Highway to explain one family's plan for a permanent memorial. Kelsey. Josh, Latricia, despite storms and thousands of visitors, these memorials look pristine. Community members come out here several times a day with trash bags cleaning up the area. And today I spoke with one family who's doing even more to honor the fallen. Marine veteran Johnny Boss and his family visit the memorials for the fallen service members several times a day. The sadness makes me angry at the same time. You know, I lost uh, five brothers. His wife, Deanna, often seen carrying trash. Whether papers that have been washed away have washed up or cigarette butts, sadly to say, um, it's a memorial. So, you know, keeping it clean for people to come down here is very important. Between full-time jobs and raising three children, the Boss family says this is the least they can do. Whenever we come down here, we just do a quick walkthrough the first couple of times and just pick up what trash that we see and then you know, pay our respects every day because that's the least that we can do. Boss did two tours overseas during his active service. He created tributes to these fallen servicemen similar to what they do when a brother is killed in action. This is the battlefield cross. The, it's, usually it's a rifle and the helmet, but when there's somebody killed in action, uh, it's like a memorial that you can do in the field, you know, on the operating base or wherever you're at in country. Now they're asking other veterans for help creating battlefield crosses for the families of the fallen. They want parents and spouses of each man to have a cross complete with a cover, dog tag, and boots, and they need help gathering them. Boss says it's difficult to part with items that hold so much meaning, but says this serves a better purpose. You know, they hold a special place in my heart, you know. Um, but if I were to give them up for anything, they'd be for this. If you're a veteran and willing to part with those items, the family requests that you bring them here to this memorial on Amnicola Highway. Reporting live, Kelsey Bagwell, News Channel 9. Kelsey, thank you.